In this video, we'll discuss getting started working with image advertisements. In this video, I'm going to start talking you through getting started with image ads. So far, we've been focusing on text ads, but you can also advertise through the Google system using images. For example, banners. So let's start with an example. First of all, it's worth mentioning that these ads only appear on the content network. So they only appear on the content network and site-targeted campaigns. The reason is, of course, that the Google sites, such as the Google search engine and Gmail and Google Groups and so on, they just don't display image ads. In this example, I'm going to use the PDF software site-targeted campaign that I already have up and running. Now, I already have an existing ad group, so let's create a new ad group just for these image ads. And I'm just going to call it Image Ads. And continue. Okay, what I want to do now is create ad and click on Image Ad. And here are the options. Actually, you can view examples here. These are the different sizes. Leaderboard, 728 pixels by 90 pixels. And it's worth mentioning that in your image ad you don't need to include this, but Google AdWords automatically adds your display URL and it also adds feedback ads by Google. Okay, banner, 468 pixels by 60 pixels. Small square, 200 by 200. Skyscraper, 120 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. Wide skyscraper, the same height, 600 pixels high by 160 wide. And a square, 250 by 250. And what else? Okay, a medium rectangle at 300 by 250. Large rectangle, 336 by 280 pixels. So, those are the size options. If you're perhaps promoting someone else's product as an affiliate or some other kind of reseller, maybe they've offered you ready-made graphics. But of course, for your own products, you'll need to create these graphics. Now, it's not the purpose of this video to go through that with you, because that's an entirely separate graphics design course. You may be happy doing that for yourself, using a product such as Photoshop, or you can quite inexpensively hire someone from outside on a site such as Elance or Scriptlance or Guru.com and hire someone to create image graphics for you there. Generally though, if the image graphics are promotional in nature, you or whoever does the marketing in your business would probably want to select the right text and then just have that created graphically. Okay, now let's add the graphic. So you just click on Browse, and you navigate to wherever on your computer the graphic may be, and click and open. Okay, so name for this image, or name this image, rather. Okay, in this advertising campaign, I'm not using any of my own sites. I'm just linking to the popular software PDF995, and the graphic I'm using is actually one of their own. So I'm just going to call it PDF995. Display URL. Yes, that's right. Actually, let's display it with capital PDF to make it come across a little bit stronger. And destination, that goes to PDF995.com. Okay, yes, I think I have to do that. Out of interest, let's just leave that unticked and just see. But I think we'll be prompted... Yes, exactly, you have to check that box. So, okay, I need to add the image back. Let me do that now. And there it is, PDF995.gif, open. And as you see, acceptable formats are GIF, JPEG, PNG, and SWF, which is Flash. So this also works with Flash. And there are restrictions on what you can and cannot do. So check the Google Help documentation for that and ask them if you aren't sure. 
As I mentioned, there is Flash, and those are animated graphics, so I'm sure there are quite a few restrictions there. So there's the image. Call it PDF-995. It links to PDF-995. And I'm going to check that box now. And continue. OK, they're checking. And you see that's how it looks. I just borrowed one of their graphics, but since I'm linking to their site, I hope that they don't mind. And you can see how it looks full size. That's how it looks. Nothing very exciting. OK, let's continue. OK, now it's asking us where we want to advertise. So what I'm going to do is tick Describe Topics and PDF Publishing and Get Available Sites. Retrieving Site List. And here we are. Importantly, it tells you which ad format each site supports. Text ads, image ads in inline rectangle size, so it's specific formats and specific sizes. And then video ad sizes. And to make things easy, I'll just add all 100. So they're over here now. OK, that will do. And let's find the Continue button. It should be down here, bottom left. There it is. Set Pricing. OK, we're getting big exposure from those sites, over half a million maximum impressions per day. And I want to keep things to a minimum since this is just a demo. So I'll go with 25 cents a day. Excuse me, I mean 25 cents per thousand views maximum. And because that isn't very much, I'll be way down on the list of advertisers who actually appear on those sites because obviously it does depend on the quality score of the ad and the clicks and everything else. But as with all things Google, the more you pay, the more likely it is that your ad will appear in a good position. OK, continue. And review. Campaign name, PDF software, site targeted. That's right. We're targeting English speakers, locations, Australia, Canada, the UK, and the US. Daily budget, a quarter. Ad group name, image ads. There's our picture. And there are all the sites I'm targeting. Lots of them. And maximum cost per thousand, 25 cents. Save. So, I wouldn't imagine that it will become active immediately, but will need review and approval. Even though it shows status as active, I would imagine that it won't be fully active until it's been reviewed. However, you can check the Google documentation to check the very latest policy regarding that. When AdWords started out, ads used to go live a lot quicker. But now there's a lot more of the review process, it appears, before your ads are live or fully live. Sometimes they just go fairly gently live at the very beginning until they're reviewed. So there it is. That's how you set up an image ad. And as you can see, percentage served. It's very similar to how text ads are set up. You can create two image ads that are very similar, except for some slight differences, and then test one against the other. So rather than just going with one ad, you can set up a competition to continuously optimize your advertising. So you may feel that image ads are another option for you rather than just using text ads. You may find there are good instances where you want to use image ads, or maybe you just want to try them out and see what the response is. Anyway, that's how you get set up with them and get them live in the Google system.